fascination with that blade has not waned since childhood. My father could not have gifted you anything more suitable. And I continue to honor the great general he was through every drop of heathen blood that touches this blade. The wars waged at the edges of the Empire will soon be at our gates. Let them come. We will crush them as we always have. Why not discourage rebellion rather than fuel it? Let us limit the amount of blood your blade must draw if we can. I have noticed your appetite for war has much abated through the years, Tarek. And yours has not been satisfied. And we've always made a balanced team, my brother in arms. Fortunately, I have enough such hunger for both of us, and will gladly cover your share. Celebrate your birth on the name day of the Virgin. Christo, Christo. I now see why you've raised the village taxes again. The taxes are high for our protection. If you care to debate the matter, you may speak to these gentlemen if you wish. Let it wear what befits a man of my station is no concern of yours, boy. But they're all not. I know it's a blessing not having to marry Kristen, but another suitor unsuited to the honor of our family's name, of my name. And sometimes I fear that I'll never be allowed to marry. Why did you say that, child? Each time I hear them toast and honor Aunt Christina, I feel the burden of her name. But she was so strong. I was just scared. And then that man. You were only eight years old, Padakimu. Imagination heals our memories in the shadow of tragedy. Do not let them mislead you. It was not my imagination that Turk spared me. I live because of him. Listen to your Baba. There is no such thing as a good Turk unless he is dead. He must not have seen you, child. I know what I saw. Even if that were true, a compassionate Turk would not have lasted long in the Ottoman Empire. I don't see why you insist on believing it. Then tell me what you do, Sihiya. What's in my future? Will I fall in love and marry a good man? Maybe even... One of my own choosing. <sighs> it says you will belong to a greater family than ours one day. And you will fall for a great warrior who fights for Greece. A soldier, then? From a prosperous family? But is there something wrong with that? What, will I be a widow? True love requires great sacrifice. I only see what the grinds tell me. The rest is up to destiny. And to you. You risk too much. Your father trusted me to teach you the ways of the Greeks so that you could govern wisely, not risk your position by betraying your own people. You taught me that true leaders must stand on the side of what is right, to speak for both Greek and Turk. Should I not be such a leader now? It is a sacrifice I'm willing to make. I need you to see that that man leaves the city safely. They have taken that for which we were best known to the peoples of the world. They have murdered the equality and freedom which we invented with democracy. For 400 years, these Turks tortured and killed us, along with our ideals which benefit all mankind. And we accept it, having been born with it. 
They've taken our numbers from 20 million to 1 million. It is time each man, woman, and child be willing to sacrifice their life if necessary. Because there will never be enough of us to attempt this again. And if these Turks kill what little remains, history will write that we were free again yes. before disappearing from God's earth. Together, we fight from these hills and cliffs for our freedom. Freedom! 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 Freedom!